So I'm at the sanctuary in Sandusky, Ohio, which is our end stop for the trip. Uh, we're going to stop at the Barrel House, which is a local uh, biker bar, pretty much, uh, on the waterfront, uh, our end destination. And I wanted to raise a little bit of money with this trip. Uh, this charity particularly captured my heart. It's called Project Noel. Uh, it's basically, it helps children, uh, underprivileged children, Um, that, uh, that unfortunately have been, their lives have been affected and torn apart by addiction, uh, where their parents have had, whether it be alcohol addiction, uh, uh, drug addiction, and they've ended up in care. Uh, and these children don't have really very much, and Project Noel provides basically Christmas presents to kids that don't have anything from nothing. Uh, started as a very small charity. We're going to meet Kelly in a minute, who's one of the founders, who's going to tell you the story. Um, and we're going to try and raise some money to get some kids something that, that gives them a smile when they don't have too much to smile about. So uh, it's, it's close to my heart and very special to me. So let's go and meet Kelly. We'll go inside and see what they do. Okay, so we're going to see what Kelly has done for Easter. She's done an Easter drive. Uh, we're sitting around here, I think there's... Uh, so meet Kelly. Kelly, this is uh, there's about 150 Easter baskets. About 150. Um, that that you've um, that that people have helped and donated and created to um, to give to some kids and yes. make them happy. Um, so Project Noel. Um, yes. So I I I have been working we're well, not working with you guys. I've, I've known about you guys for like three years. Mm -hmm. um, and you you're, you're one of the founders or the founder of the charity. Right. And it came from tragedy. Yes, so, um, yeah, Project that's... Noel is actually named after my daughter Noel. Um, she was due on Christmas Day, so so that's how we got Noel. But she um, died of an overdose in Cleveland, uh, the July thirtieth of two thousand seventeen, leaving behind children. And when all this happened, you know, and you're going through horrible grief like that. Um, you know there's a lot going on but I kept praying because I felt like I needed to be doing something and in with this uh, you know I got these two little four-year-old identical twin boys looking at me and it just came to me one day that kind of the answer of my prayers that what about these kids what's happening with all these kids we've got overdoses happening every day and there's so many kids involved in it so that's how it all started. It was Christmas time, Noel. I'm looking at kids, and I said, "Hey, we're going to help some of these kids at Christmas time." Now, th th this starts off really small. I mean, uh, we were talking earlier um, that uh, you know, three years ago, it was like 300 kids, yeah, of, of which yeah. my wife and I sort of right. <laughs> fostered a Christmas. <laughs> yes, for, you did for, for, for two kids, <laughs> right. and, um, and 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 last Christmas it, it was nearly 3,000. Yes. It's amazing. It like uh, from the year before it had actually tripled. So you know, and there's a lot to that. Number one, since this pandemic we've had, our overdose rate is at record highs. I mean, no, it's funny. No one talks about. I mean, you, you see this stuff, or you see the effects of it. You see the children. Right. And um, you know, we talk about mental health and mental illness and everything right. else, and addiction, and and something like you know this this pandemic. Right. Yeah, domestic abuse, addiction, it's gone through the roof. Yeah, it's and, crazy. and particularly in communities, you know, this is a lovely place to be. Right. But the winter, it's cold, it's freezing, you can't go anywhere. Right. The summer's lovely, but things just seem to be, you know, we don't notice these downhill spirals. Right. And, and also we don't see the children, we don't see the damage. We talk right. about the addicted, right. and we see that. Right. But we don't see the, we don't see the damage, the aftermath, these children, right. and, and, and to keep hope, give hope, or make, make them realize the people out there, um, they, they, yeah. they, they actually, you know, they, they, they mean something. Absolutely. So, I, I mean, I, I love this charity for that reason. Um, so, so basically, um, the long and short of it is we're going to try and raise some money, and um, it'll go to Project Noel, which is... It's all volunteers. Nobody takes a salary out of this. No, nope, nobody gets paid anything. A hundred percent. And, and you guys basically will use that 
mm-hmm. to buy whether it be one gift if we raise a dollar or if we raise a few thousand it will be a few hundred gifts right um for a few hundred children right at christmas or easter or it will provide them with a day out somewhere right or, yeah another thing we do is um when these kids are you know removed for you know whatever reason their parents have passed away or are just an act of addiction nine times out of ten they go with what they're wearing on their back so they have no clothes babies have no diapers um, formula things like that so we provide them with enough stuff to get them started so uh, I'm going to show you what happens uh, so the Christmas drive so this is the residue of last Christmas and uh, when you talk about volunteers all of these clothes and toys are new they've all been separated out into boys boys clothing girls girls clothing girls toys age groups and what Kelly does look, there's even some, someone donated a lovely bicycle how nice is that um, and there you've got diapers and you've got you know it's, because there's babies too you know it, it, it's funny with that because I remember um, so if, if I take over the past three years and it was interesting because you you gave me a teenager Last, yes. this, last Christmas you gave me a yes, teenager. I did. Now I have no problem with an eight-year-old boy, but a teenager, yes. you know, I'm 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 going out and buying buying this kid sneakers, and I'm thinking, <laughs> if I buy him a hundred-dollar pair of Nikes, he's going to get his ass kicked in the playground. <laughs> so you know, and and and, it, and it's funny, and and then you get like the eight-year-old. Well, you know, I like Transformers, and I like this, and so you know, and and for me, I think you know, like a particularly here where it's so cold like you said a child a coat a coat is not is not a cheap thing for everybody right. but to buy a child a winter coat right. so they can be warm in the playground at school well and it's amazing um, and and sad at the same time how many teenagers on their list it was a coat boots gloves oh, I agree. you know things that you know most of our kids you know just take for granted that they're gonna have a coat yeah and um, it was amazing and sad, like I said, how many teenagers had that on their wish list for Christmas. Yeah, no, I, it's very humbling. Yes. It, it's really humbling and I love it. And, um, and, and anyone that's watching this video, um, you're going to be watching some fantastic stuff um, about the trip. And if you guys will donate some money, then it's going to end up being a gift for a child um, that, that will really you know make them feel good it'll be something special so please uh, there's a link below please uh, give us some money and uh, we're going to make sure that it goes right here to Kelly uh, and to some children